Airport. When you call for just any ambulance service, you never know what you might get. But when you call Vital Care at 423-562-9370, you'll get an experienced staff, experienced and professional people who know what the word emergency really means. Don't just trust anyone. You do have a choice when it comes to ambulance service in this area. 562-9370. Hello everybody, after their appearance last Thursday in Nayland Stadium, I asked Coach Justin Price his thoughts on just being there, and I asked if he'd give me a brief statement. He told me in a text message, it was as expected for a jamboree. I'm proud of our guys and the way they represented our community. Our crowd was very loud and it gave me chills when I heard them cheer us on. And we still have a few things to correct before next Friday. But I had a good preseason now. He said next Friday, he's talking about August the 17th when they will play at home against Seymour. But we're going to end the quote right there. Now, we too are proud of the football program where it's come from just a short year and a half. Just think, this time last year, Justin was scrambling to get his staff together, not to mention install game plans for them to do. And what they have done in such a short time, I salute Justin Price and his coaching staff and his team on their success. Up north, we were honored to go up and take some pictures for the Jellicoe Picture Day. They had a scrimmage later on, so we caught them between activities, so to speak. 22 young men are playing for the Big Blue. Now, I know that's not like 70 at Campbell County High School, but you know these guys will show up, and they should be more competitive than last year. Austin Bolin will take the snaps this year under center. Now, he wasn't the first choice, but he's the one who came out of nowhere to win the job and that's who Brad Lawson is going with. Now they're getting ready for Williamsburg this Friday and then we'll have more on that game as Friday draws closer. Now they had a scrimmage Friday as I said, no word on how they did, but we'll get the scoop on that when we talk with Brad Lawson later this week. Lots of football going on in middle school and high school and we'll get the previews for you before they play. Hey don't forget folks, you can only follow the Cougars and Blue Devils only exclusively on one place, and that's the WLF Sports Network, and that's 1450WLF.com. Saturday. 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 If you think our lunch specials at the diner are great, then you ought to come in Saturday morning and enjoy their breakfast from 7 to 11. That's right. The same great quality they put into every Sunday lunch, they also put in their breakfast. So come in this Saturday and see what I mean. The diner on Jacksboro Pike, now serving breakfast every Saturday. 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 From 7 to 11 a.m. That's only at the diner on Jacksboro Pike. Call in or carry out today. Thanks for watching my papa on WLAF. It's that time of year again when Campbell County Children's Center will have their annual co ed softball tournament, and it will be at Asbury Park again this year, and it will be the 24th and 25th of August. It will start that Friday at 6 p.m. And this year, according to Maggie Ishko, they're going to have a tribute to longtime friend and supporter of this event, Billy Cox, who recently passed away. And Billy was on the board and he always did whatever he had to do to make sure that not only this was a success for the kids, but he simply done what he had to do to help the kids, period. He loved kids and I know they will miss him as I will as Billy was a good friend of mine as well. But it will all kick off that Friday the 24th at 6 p.m. and we'll be there to film the festivities. Hey, don't forget the Splash Park is open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So go on down to the La Follette Splash Park and cool off today, okay? And on a final note, those of you who have followed me on the sports report, you know that I don't say anything about any kids unless they play somewhere in Campbell County. And I won't promote them on the sporty. Now that's been my policy for the past five years, but I have two grandsons playing for the Clinton Dragon Hoppers and JV Hoppers. And I want to say how proud Papa was to get to go down to Oak Ridge this past Saturday and watch Hunter Graham Cooper play for the Clinton Hoppers and William Targonski play for the JV Hoppers. This is their first year, that was their first game, and as a matter of fact, last week was their first practice ever, but they both loved it. So boys, Papa's proud of you, and I know you'll do me up proud in the future. Now, that's all I'm going to say about that. 
Okay, that's all we've got today on the Sports Report. You guys stay tuned. There's a whole lot more to come right here on WLAF.